This is a mass driver burn, aka Dimension Cannon deck profile. The strategy of this deck is simple. Burn the opponent to death by tributing monsters for mass driver, thereby inflicting 400 points of damage to the opponent, or for cannon soldier, thereby inflicting 500 points of damage. Aside from tokens, the main monster we want to tribute is Dark Magician of Chaos, who can be looped to be tributed infinitely in one turn, effectively OTKing the opponent. Assuming we control Dark Magician of Chaos and either Mass Driver or Cannon Soldier, the first step is to tribute Demok, triggering his effect of banishing himself. The second step is to use Dimension Fusion, which we triple in the stack, to special Dark Magician of Chaos back from the banished pile, activating and triggering his other effect of adding one spell card from our grave to our hand which is, in this case, Dimension Fusion we've just used. Uh, the next step is to simply repeat step 1 and step 2, meaning tributing Dark Magician of Chaos and special summoning him back with Dimension Fusion, adding Dimension Fusion with Demox effect as the spell adding effect is not a hard ones per turn one. Of course, this chain of actions cannot be repeated indefinitely, because Dimension Fusion requires you to pay 2000 life points on activation each time we use it. Cutting the Gordian Knot for us is the final ingredient for the combo to be working. It's spell economics. It is a continuous spell that reads you do not pay life points to activate spell cards. And voila, the puzzle is solved. Now step 1 and step 2 can be repeated in infinite times. Now the question arises, with only one Dark Magician of Chaos in 40 cards, how can we access and summon him sufficiently often to ensure consistency? While Mass Driver has to be hard drawn, Ken Soldier and Dark Magician of Chaos do not. The best way we sum either of them is using Monster Gate uh, on the 6 token generating spell cards, transforming the tokens into Dark Magician of Chaos or Cannon Soldier, as these are the only two monster cards we play in this version. For Monster Gate I play Triple Scapegoat. and triple stray lamps. The second best way of summoning Dark Magician of Chaos or Cannon Soldier is by using reasoning. Two scenarios are plausible. Either the opponent does not know our strategy or that we play Mass Driver Burn and thus calls anything but our level 8 Demog or he knows our strategy and calls level 8, which pr probably either special scan soldier for us or dumps Dark Magician of Chaos in the graveyard. In the last case, the only way of accessing him in the very same, on the very same turn is via Premature Burial. Or indirectly via Soul Release, uh, which banishes him from Crave, allowing us to access him by Dimension Fusion and start our OTK this way. One problem we might face is back row in form of Sound Judgment, for example. For this, I play Triple Giant Drunate, Swords of Revealing Light is there for stalling so long till we have all pieces of the combo set up. Reload increases the consistency of the deck. So does spell reproduct reproduction. Uh, for it can re recycle almost anything in this deck, especially in a neg negated monster gate, or using the same monster gate a second time, warranting us the sum of Dark Magician of Chaos once and for all. The rest of the deck is all about draw cards. I play Pot of Greed and Quest for Charity. And double delinquent, uh, double upside goblin. Sorry. 
That's it for the deck. I hope you understood the strategy and enjoy the deck profile. And as always, the deck list can be found in the video description. Thank you for watching.